Hello Builders, how are you today? My name is Laszlo and today I'm going to talk about AWS Cloud Shell. So are you tired of uh, managing multiple windows and AWS profiles uh, on your local terminal? Um, did you forget maybe to install the AWS CLI and need to use it quickly? Uh, maybe you need a terminal that runs in your browser and it is directly connected to your AWS account without you having to configure any credentials? If yes, then please say hello to AWS Cloud Shell. So uh, Cloud Shell is a browser-based terminal uh, connected to your AWS account that provides a single location for running uh, AWS CLI commands and interacting with your um, AWS account. So join me in this video as uh, I'll give you an in-depth look at Cloud Shell, including some of the pre-installed um, uh, development tools and built-in features. So here I am in the AWS Management Console and um, here you can find the Cloud Shell service here on the top. You see this icon here. This is the Cloud Shell icon. And if you click on it, basically what will happen is that it will launch a terminal. Uh, this will have some pre-installed tools like the AWS CLI, Python, Node.js, and some more uh, tools. It includes uh, one gigabyte of storage uh, for free uh, per AWS region. And you can upload files and download files from this environment. Um, and these will be persisted uh, for future sessions. Now, keep in mind that this, um, this is uh, tied to a region, as it says here. So um, each region has its own um, distinct cloud shell um, um, environment. And this environment is actually in the background. It's, it's just like a regular um, um, virtual machine. Um, you have the terminal, let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. So here, um, oh, sorry, here with the settings button, we can make the font size um, a little bit uh, bigger. And you also have some other options. So this is the terminal. It's connected to this AWS account that I'm logged into. So if I issue um, AWS S3, uh, ls it will list my um, s3 buckets you see i'm using the aws cli so i can issue a command like aws version and it will show me that i have this version of the cli installed already in this um, uh, environment uh, this small little virtual machine if you want to call it like that 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 runs here in the browser for me and i can interact with my aws account um, I also have SAM, the uh, AWS serverless application model installed. Um, we can check the version as well. So we have version 1.76. We also have um, Python installed. Uh, let's see the version, what Python version we have. So we have Python as well. Uh, we have also Node. Let's see what Node we have. So Node 16 is installed for me. Um, I also had Git, have Git, uh, let's see, Git version. And then I could um, check out some code here um, or I could just upload a file. So you have this actions button here and um, um, here you have some options. We can open a new tab if we want to. Then we can also uh, split into rows. Uh, split into uh, columns. So I have multiple terminals running here and I can issue different commands in um, um, each of them. So one command here, uh, I could run something e uh, else here. Uh, I'm not going to do that now. Um, then I could uh, upload the file. So let's upload the file. You will have the maximum file size is one gigabyte, so let's select the file. I'm going to upload this bash script, which installs Apache. So let's upload it. 
and you have a progress bar here and once it's uploaded i can just um, list my files here and i have it here in the um, terminal actually if i um, change the directory to the top you see um, this is just like a regular linux instance um, you have some uh, folders that the regular linux instance have so uh, you can uh, play around with this see what can you do with it um, other features uh, you can download a file you would have to provide the path so for example home um, user file.txt and you basically would be able to download it if the file is there um, then um, you can restart it or delete the aws cloud shell home directory so one thing uh, is that this um, cloud shell sometimes it takes a while i'm going to restart it now it takes a while to start uh, in the past it took a lot of time to start up this uh, instance but uh, lately they uh, made some improvements and now it's pretty quick to uh, stop and start this um, cloud shell environment so right now it's stopping um, and once it's it's done that uh, stopping and starting i can use it again um, right now i can't do that so let's wait a little bit until this is done so it took less than a minute to have it um, uh, restart and now i can um, issue commands again i can interact with the cli um, um, and so on so you see it works it's connected to my account i don't have to install anything on my computer not the cli not every, anything uh, and i don't have to configure profiles as i go to the different aws accounts i'm able to use uh, cloud shell in each of these so this is cloud shell it's a very uh, useful service uh, for interacting with aws uh, if you want to run cli commands things like that uh, sam um, and um, node python um, want to check out some code to debug something maybe i don't know so this was the video for today i hope you liked it if you did click on the like button subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you with another video soon